my god. Oh my god, I'm like actually sweating. It's so bright in here. <sighs> Nobody tells you how hard it is to like move your finger the opposite way on a camera. Who knew? Okay, so today is going to be a get ready with me video. It's my graduation today. Yay! I'm graduating from college and um, I thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, get ready with me. So let's get started. I've already done my hair. As you can see, this clip won't be there, but I had to clip it back from my face. Um, okay, so I've already moisturized and I don't prime my face, but whatever let's just say I moisturized and primed my face already okay um usually I don't use foundation but today obviously I'm going to because it's a big day so I'm going to put on Born This Way by Too Faced that's my foundation I just recently got this one actually because um, I had been using a drugstore product and I didn't like it. it. Made me look really super oily, so don't use that anymore. So I just put it on my hand, like a half a dab, and then I'm just gonna put it on my face lightly, as you do. Sorry, it's so bright. By the way, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to like see this. My bathroom lights are so bright. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Start the speed up. Okay, so foundation's on. Once again, I don't know if you can tell, but my face is a lot less red than it was before. Okay. <laughs> Um, next, I go in with my concealer, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. That's this one. It's actually really cool. I never had a concealer that you like put on like a lipstick before, but yeah, now I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes and in my T zone. Okay, start this video. when I put on my concealer. <laughs> okay, concealed. So next usually I just go and um, I put on lip balm for the rest of my makeup. Usually I do this at the beginning actually, but I forgot. Just so that my lips are not dry when I have to put on my lipstick because nobody likes when their lipstick is like peeling off with dry skin throughout the day. So, um, some people bake. I don't. Um, I don't really know how to do makeup. I'm just going by what I see on YouTube. And baking just seems like a lot of time that I don't want to spend. So, let's do eyes next. I'm going to use this palette. It's just a Sephora palette. I thought it was really pretty. I don't know what colors any of them are, but I'm going to be using this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. I'm putting, I guess I should tell you, I'm putting this color, since it's just a Sephora palette, they don't tell you tanny pink color. I'm just putting that all over. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this really white one and put that by my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to go in with this really sparkly one right here. Just 
kind of put that on half, the inner half of my eyelid. This one, this gray, um, just on the outer crease, just to give me some definition, I guess, during photos. Lighting is so horrible that you really can't even tell what I just did to my eyes. You can take my word for it. It looks really cute. Okay. Okay. Mascara is next. Um, I've been using this for like probably way too long. I think I've had it for like five years. But it's the best mascara. It's by the brand E. Oh no. Ico. Ico London. That's what this is. Okay, there you go. See? Focus. There. Black Magic. I literally got this for free in like a makeup box that I used to order and it's the best. It's not clumpy. It goes on really nicely. You notice everyone always makes really funny faces when they do their mascara like fish face or something. Like why do I make a fish face when I'm doing something on my eye? contour pretty much freaking everything it's amazing it is so beautiful so I just take this big ass brush and I just put it on my face take some and I put some underneath my chin because nobody wants a double chin and I put some up by my hairline so I look more tan okay should I do a highlighter probably so this is the one I've been using it's beautiful it's called candlelight glow yeah it's amazing so I've been using that and I go in with an angled brush for that. I mean, like, I really want to use this product. Um, I bought it. It's a rose gold glitter liner by Tarte. I don't know why I've been buying so much Tarte stuff lately. Um, yeah, Tartist Pro Glitter Liner. One side has like a really thick glitter, and one side has like a really pretty shimmery rose gold one. I mean, I really want to use it, so guess what? I'm going to use it. I don't wear eyeliner ever, so if this looks like absolute... <laughs> it's not my fault. Well, it is my fault because I don't use eyeliner, but screw it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in here, so I'm going to do it over there and then I'm going to show you. Okay. I don't know if I like it. You know what? I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to put it on my whole line. Hmm. So I kind of just put this clumpy one in the crease and then I just used a brush to bring it over and it looks really nice. So maybe that's just what I use this for. <sighs> what color lips should I do? Nude it is. Okay, I'm using Faux by MAC. It has been my lipstick of choice on everyday life for the last couple weeks. It's super nice. Oh, I also don't line my lips. I told you this channel is going to be makeup tutorials for people who don't know how to do makeup, so that's me. 
no lip liner. Okay, finished look. I'm gonna bring you into a different room so you can actually see the finished look without all these bright lights. Okay. Lighting is better, can you see now? There we go, finished look. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll show you that too.